guys doing? I just wanted to give a little thought that I'm going through right now. Of course, I'm listening to my K-Love music. It's very encouraging to listen to in the morning. I wanted to discuss something really quick. Um, our family's going through a little bit of struggle right now. Not anything major. My husband had found out this week, actually, he found out yesterday. Harley Davidson, where he's employed, is closing its plant down here in Kansas City and it's moving to another state. And he's technically not hired on full time there yet as a hired on position. He's only a, a temp but he's not going through the temp agents anymore. It's kind of complicated how they, they work their employees there. He is union and we've prayed about it and we both have a really, really easy feeling about this. We, we're not worried at all about his job. They said that they're planning on closing the plant in 18 months. I'm making the move next year, 2019. But it doesn't seem to be something that we're really, really worried about. I know God has this under control. It's given us a really humble, a humble attitude towards everything. Even if my husband walks into work tonight and they let him go, he's really been wanting, he's really been praying for a day shift position. And no other way of going back to days than to not have a job to go to. <laughs> so. On a side note, and a prayer I've had for the last nine years since he's been born, since we've gone through our divorce, is my son, Peyton, I have week on week off custody of him. I would be able to have him go to the school where I live and you know I moved we moved to Blue Springs so he could be closer to us um, my custody week on week off custody of my son who's nine years old he he uh, possibility might be able to go now to school where I live and it's been a prayer that I've had for a really long time. As his mother, I would just like to be able to do the mom thing, get him on and off the bus. And it doesn't mean I, I want to keep him all the time or keep him away from his dad or anything like that because that, that's the last thing I would want to ever do to him. I just, I just want to be able to do the mom thing for Peyton and be there for him. And his elementary years especially, and now he's in third grade and his elementary years are almost over. So, God's been really, really good to us. He's answering some prayer requests. Do you ever have those circumstances in life that ever happen to you guys where you just have a peaceful feeling about it? Where it just, oh well, it's just the way things are, you know? And I know God's got a big plan. He's doing something. I don't know what it is. He hasn't told me yet. By the way, today is the super blue blood moon here. And across the United States. And I just have a really weird feeling that something awesome God is doing something awesome in our lives. God is God is working. God is working amongst us here in America. We had the State of the Union speech last night with President Trump. I think we're trying to unite together as a one nation under God. and get back to the roots of the Constitution of the United States of America, get back to the foundation 
which this nation was founded under. I mean, who would have thought that it would be Trump that God would put in place as president in the White House? Not me. Anyways, I'm almost to work. And so I just want to do this little prayer with you real quick. Dear God, I just thank you so, so much for your hand and your work in our lives. I thank you for loving us and for always providing for us. And even if we see that there is no way, you guide us and you shine your light through us so that others may see you. Thank you so much for giving me the freedom of speech, the freedom of religion, so I can worship you. Thank you for my job. Thank you for my husband's job. Thank you for our home and our children. I pray blessings on them as they're in school today. And I just know that you have big plans for us and that we will glorify you in your name as we go throughout our day. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I so bad want to close my eyes when I pray. Anyways, you guys all have a good day. And remember, Jesus loves you. Bye.